day out in our garden here at Channel 3 News. Hey guys, take a look at our little closed area over there. Bobby, go on over there, you can take a look. We went ahead and closed that area. This is what we call closing. This is a technique that we use. My grandfather used to do this a long time ago to start a small transplant. So what we did, took some little one by one piece of wood, laid them up against the wall, and then applied what we call six mil clear plastic on it. That creates a little greenhouse there. Now we leaned it right up against the wall. This is a south facing wall, folks. And this south facing wall gathers all that heat, acts as a heat sink or thermal mass. And we're gonna go ahead and start a lot of our tomatoes in there, a lot of our basil and our warmer season type vegetables. Reason we're gonna grow it up there against that wall? Well, one thing is, as you see, there's some trees right behind it. Those trees are gonna provide some shade later on in the summertime, giving us some shade, but right now we need to harvest as much sun as possible. This is a great way to go if you want to get those tomatoes started and started early. In fact, tomatoes are a very long season type vegetable or for those out there, fruit. And then what you want to do is you want to get them in the ground and get them in the ground right now. We plant short season varieties. We talked about them last week. We're going to try some old Germans. We're going to try some early girls and of course some celebrities, which are very disease resistant. Along with those, well, you want to add some basil or basil. In fact, this works out real well. This is one of the plants that will actually survive out here in the desert southwest very easily in full sun. If you like basil or basil, it works out fantastic. Another one we we'll try, Canary Island Sage. It's another one that's a little bit frost sensitive. It's going to go under our closed area. We're supposed to get fairly cold here about Monday or Tuesday. So it'd probably be a good idea to get out a lot of those sheets or anything else you've got there to protect anything that may be a little bit frost sensitive, especially those tomatoes, those peppers, and those eggplants. Some other things, sage works out real well. And of course, one of my favorite, and I talk about it all the time, bright light Swiss chard. It's going to go in there. The reason we actually companion plant a lot of these plants is because of the fact that they distract a lot of our different types of pests that we have in the garden so often. So we plant not a, po a monoculture, but a polyculture. And it's very important that you think along those lines. Because if you look across my garden here, you can see a lot of different types of plants planted kind of almost haphazard. This is very important out here in the desert southwest. If you plant one plant, invariably you're going to end up with a lot of pest type problems. The other thing you want to do, go out there and start applying a little bit of liquid seaweed to a lot of that plant material. This is going to really stave off that frost that you're going to have out there. Give you about three to five degrees of protection. We go and apply it by foliar feeding on the plant itself. So we just spray it on the plant. We'll try to show you in the next couple seconds how to do that. And of course, when we come back, well, we're going to talk about the other different types of plants you want to start thinking about planting out here in the desert southwest and, of course, getting that spring garden ready. We'll be back right after this with more Good Morning Arizona.